Hey guys, so today we are just going to be doing a few, well, we're going to be doing four wall design hacks for the, that come from the new wall trims, and I, I came up with these myself, so I hope you like them. So, um, as you can see, first we have this striped wall design. And then we have this one panel fill in, I don't know what to call this, but here's the second design. I feel like this one's like the most modern. You can still color them whenever you want. I just like the way they were colored. Here's just the plain design. And here's another nice design. So I'm going to be showing you how to do these right behind them. So first, let's start with this one. So you're going to take however long, oh, however long piece of wall that you want. And so you're going to go to build and wall trim. And first, you take a wood paneling. Then you take short rail modeling, and it creates that like fill-in thing. And then you create, and, and then you do thin crown molding at the very top. And that's how you do the first one. Also, I added a um, little flat baseboard at the bottom, because that's kind of nice to me, because I don't really like that much wood. <laughs> But yes, that's the first one. You can color the wall any color you want underneath it. It really does not affect it. And then the next one is my favorite. So what you're gonna do? Go into Walter again, and you're going to whoop, and you're gonna use the short rail modeling, and then standard rail modeling, and then tall rail modeling. And then thin crown molding at the top, and then flat baseboard, and then you're gonna color the wall dark stone gray. Or if you colored these a different color here, you just color them same color, and it looks super cool to me. I love it so much. This is my favorite one. And the next one is just the basic one really i don't think that much of a hack but <laughs> it's still kind of cool you just take wood paneling well and you take you huge crown molding and you can just color them the same color and they kind of make it look like a kind of certain style i guess but i don't know it's just nice <laughs> And then the last and final one is actually pretty cool. You take the full wall paneling, and then you want to take, you can take the large one, but I kind of think it looks weird because it kind of cuts off at the top, and also the other one cuts off at the bottom a little bit. That's why I chose the short one. And then you, and then I put this up here because I like that white line there. And if you want, you can put that at the bottom. And I think that just looks really, really nice. And you can add any kind of windows, doors, to any of this. And what I love about this crown, about this trim, is that if you do want to place a door, like. It just like stretches with it. It's super cool. I love it. And yeah, that's it for this video. I know it's a little short. Um, just want to show you guys a few hacks that I came up with for the trim on the wall. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to like and subscribe. Make sure to check out my group down below too. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Bye!